Oh, we got here about half past seven, eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, a few hours wait, but it's well worth it. Yeah. It's our queen, isn't it? And paying respect, so that's what we've come for. I think it's important to a lot of us here, obviously, uh, to pay our respects to a woman who gave great service to the country. I think she's just an amazing lady. Um, she's done so much for our country and the world as a whole. In a way, in a nice way, she was kind of like a wallpaper to our lives. She's always there. So you just reflect on your own life a bit, you know, people coming and going and stuff like that. And, uh, and you realise uh, um, how stupid you are to think that she, she would always be there. I came here as a refugee and being accepted into the country, um, I mean, she's, she was, she's always been there in my life, so it's... It's quite, it's quite something to know that she's gone, yeah. I would have waited m more than a day. I would have slept the night here if, if I had to, because it's very important. She led our country for 70 years. She was amazing, and she was a calm, lovely, stable force to our lives. My mum died a few years ago, and it feels a bit like my mum's dying again. Sounds funny, but it does. It feels like part of the family because she's always been in our lives. So we'll see her pass with her children and her grandchildren. That's going to be so special. Yeah. I'm just glad to be here. The right thing to do. Sorry, I don't have the words. When the cortege gets here, I will salute, you know, in respect. And then after that, I might just go and have a couple of drinks.